When life's stresses seem to pile up, sometimes it's good to go out for a walk in nature. New Center Maine's David Guildford found some people who aren't just encouraging folks to get outside, they're using some techniques that are thousands of years old to help get our minds right in 2022. Downtown Portland is getting a new piece of art. It's a labyrinth. We thought big. Dean Ben Shambaugh and St. Luke's Cathedral on State Street commissioned this granite path. While mazes confuse and trap those inside it, labyrinths guide visitors slowly to their center. Labyrinths become one of those portals, one of those ways that people can enter the church, enter spiritual practices when they might feel uncomfortable with traditional churches. Shambaugh says St. Luke's Labyrinth is for all. If you're walking down busy State Street and want a few moments of Zen, be their guest. If you feel inclined to step in for prayer, they're happy to have you as well. They're not the only one in town. We use it here as a wellness tool, really. Kathleen Miller is an expert in history and leads meditation groups at the University of New England. Since its construction in 2011, Miller has watched students and faculty escape to the school's labyrinth in the woods behind campus. I know that a lot of people feel really uncomfortable with stillness and quiet. And I think that we all need more of it, but it's hard to come by. Stillness can be difficult to find, but labyrinths might be easier to find than we think. Yadina Clark is a labyrinth expert at UMaine and also works with the International Labyrinth Society. She says there are over 250 documented labyrinths in New England. There's still a lot about the mind-body-spirit connections that we don't fully understand, and there sometimes there's no substitute for activities that bring those things together. Whether you're seeking a higher power or the power to overcome finals week, a little ancient architecture just might do the trick. Our life is a journey and we do end up at the center, but we don't always, we feel like we're getting close, but we don't always get there right away, but we will. In Portland, David Guilford, New Center, Maine.